Hey guys, today we're back with another video. Today we're going to be working with a landscaping business. Just getting back to the shop after checking on our crews. We have one crew out today mowing lawns. The other one is spreading mulch for one of our commercial clients. But today, guys, we're going to be heading out. We're going to be putting our brand new excavator to work. One of our weekly lawn care clients that has right around an acre of land here has hired us uh, to build a bass pond, a, a fish pond in his backyard. This will be our first time getting to put the new Case 2X45D to work here. Should be a lot of digging. I think we're going to dig down probably around six feet right to clay and it, we should be able to get it done here today we've the international dump truck all ready to go i actually got this loaded up this morning here it was a bit tricky uh since this is a somewhat big excavator here but i'm gonna grab a few things here grab my lunch uh since it should be an all-day job like always, guys, there's a full mods that's linked down below. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. We're good to go to head on out here to the job. I'm just checking, making sure everything's strapped down here. Sometimes uh, the chains do get a bit loose here, but I'm so excited to try this on out here. I don't want to buy machines, have them sit around. And it's so cool that we bought this machine uh, uh, last week and we already have a few jobs lined up for it. Now guys, a customer is having a water truck come later on today to fill it up, so we really have to get it done here. I think he said he's coming right around 5 or 6, and I think I do want to stay, kind of see our finished product. Hey, I think that would be a pretty cool thing here, but this is a pretty unique job, uh, building a pond in someone's backyard here. Sometimes uh, people build ponds, move the dirt around to get extra soil instead of hauling it in here, but I think we're coming up here on the house. It's going to be this one to our left-hand inside. Guys, we are on a pretty busy street here. We got the strobe lights going. We got the hazard lights going. Hopefully no one's flying by at 45, uh, 50 miles per hour here. But I'm going to get this unstrapped, unchained, and let's get it unloaded here. Now, hopefully we can get across the road without uh, holding up too much traffic and get on to the backyard. And then we'll go over the project. Now I am thinking I'm going to be a bit rusty with this here, first time using it, hopefully I learned the controls pretty quickly here, should be very similar to our other mini excavators other than this is just a bigger machine here, but we are actually coming up here on it, so like I mentioned guys, this is going to be a bass pond here, so to keep the water we actually have to dig down to clay and then kind of rework the clay as well, so we're going to dig down right around 6 feet, it should be a pretty big pond though, I think the overall diameter is probably going to be right around 25 30 feet uh, six feet deep at the uh, center of it should be perfect for the fish and this is gonna be a lot of fun here now today I did bring the camera and tripod but I also do have a few GoPros that we're gonna be putting up here as well and you guys might be asking where are we gonna put all the dirt well we're actually just gonna make a huge pile he said just to make it around back here I think he said uh, one of his friends needs the dirt so they're gonna come and uh, kind of br uh, take it uh, for him as well and hey that means we don't have to charge for it and uh, it is also going to make it a lot easier a lot quicker for us to get today's job uh, done as well but i can't wait uh, to see how this new uh, excavator works
Let's hop on out, let's take a quick look here. I've been using the case here probably for the last two and a half hours, and I've actually been making quick work here of it. The teeth on it, the power this thing has is unbelievable here. So you guys can see a pretty big pile of dirt as well. We are definitely moving a lot of it here today, but I think we are actually down pretty much to clay. I just want to kind of go around this here, kind of clean this up quite a bit, and I think that's really going to help it on out here. But look at that, guys. Definitely uh, going to be a pretty awesome pond here i can't wait to see the fish and uh, even the water in it and uh, see this kind of uh, take place later on today but let's go around it and just kind of clean up the edges and uh, hopefully the water truck gets here a little bit earlier today I've really been enjoying the landscaping series so far, guys. We've had a lot of cool videos, lots of projects to come, and it's going to get even busier with us. Hopefully, we can get these mods in the new farm sim as quick as we can uh, to start to make some pretty cool uh, ones in the new game as well. But you guys can see just really cleaning up the sides, and this uh, bass pond is taking shape here. Let me know down below what you think about this, having a pond in your backyard full of fish. I mean, hey, uh, that is uh, sounds like a pretty cool idea as well. We're just going around. Around here just trying to get the last of it and I think this is almost ready uh, for water here so he did say all natural like I mentioned we could put a liner down but since we actually went out to the clay I don't think we're gonna have any problem there which is definitely a good thing for our customer uh, since the liners if they do leak all the water is gonna be lost here but I'm gonna go around once again uh, we have almost all of it done and this thing is ready for water well guys, the water truck just left here. Take a look at that. Hundreds and hundreds of gallons later, here we have it. The pond is built and this is looking pretty good here so far. Let's just take a quick walk around. I think this is a pretty good size here. You definitely don't want it too big, too much maintenance, but this is going to work out quite well here. And you guys can see a huge pile of dirt that he could give to his friend. Help him on out here. So let's put the case back on the trailer and it's time to get to the next job. Alright guys, I think this is the perfect time to put down the camera and call it a day here. It was a pretty fun one, a full day's worth of work. And now the bass pond is built here. And hey, we gotta put the new case to work here. And oh boy guys, I'm so excited. Hopefully, we get some more jobs lined up for this machine here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.